Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Rachel from With My Hands and Heart. Today is my soap collaboration with Gypsy Fay Creations. So Tiara and I decided we were going to do a trick-or-treat soap. And the rules are that you need to do the trick-or-treat theme, of course. And also that uh, the embeds need to be made from soap dough or like handmade rather than just using molds. I'll be mixing these two fragrance oils. So I'll blend those in to the oils, just the oils, and then I'll be coming back and I'll be adding my lye water. And we're back. And once I scrape all that in there, I'll be blending it up and bringing it to a light trace, which means that everything's like mixed together well and there's no like oils hanging out on the top or anything. I don't usually mix to a thick trace unless I'm doing layers that I don't have anything to add to, but this particular one, like I said, I'll, I originally planned to add a bunch of stuff to it, like different colors in each layer, but I decided that would be too, too much of a risk since this fragrance oil speeds up trace. Now, I thought I would be needing three different layers to put these other pieces in and ended up needing just a little bit more in my last layer. For the first layer, I did... 12 ounces, then I did 8 ounces, and then I did 6 ounces, but I should have done 12 ounces, 8 ounces, and I believe probably closer to 8 or 9 ounces for the last one, if you want to try um, making this in my particular size mold. I don't think it would work with another mold. <laughs> so once I get my layers mixed up, I will be taking my fragrance oils that I have sitting there and only adding them one at a time. Now originally I was supposed to have an embed that I made that I like sculpted into like a door shape to go in here but that didn't happen. <laughs> so instead I ended up uh, making a makeshift last minute sort of thing out of cardboard to scrape it out and fill the door area in. I ended up working out pretty nice. Not quite there yet, I think. I've done this before, but not on camera. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a win. I think that's enough to pour. This is the moment of truth is when I try to put the uh, top on top of this. I hope this looks like a door because I didn't get a chance to make a door. I really hope this looks like a door and I hope I made enough soap. Try not to drip it. I don't know if just kind of smooth it out. I mean, chunks on. There we go. It's getting really hot. Get it in before it starts to set up. Yes, this really heats up the batter. Which I guess is good considering my design plans at least.
this makes me want want to eat um green green apple Jolly Ranchers. Smells just like one. I think my center might need to be a little bit bigger. I hope that green's set up enough that it can handle me doing this. Okay, these are supposed to look like windows. No, they're not going to be perfect. For one, because I made them. And two, because they're kind of not supposed to be. Hoping that this doesn't fall apart. I'm trying to make sure I push it in enough. But it's actually really set up. Especially this side. Okay. So here goes. Hope I added enough. I don't know if I did. I might need to add more. Who knows? more ounces. Let's make it black. Oh, sh that's right. And I guess that that's two more ounces. Okay. Well, my truth. Feels like I can pipe this. I hope it's not too gooey. Ready to rumble? I don't know how many I'm gonna get on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not doing that one, I guess. I actually didn't know how much I'm going to need, so that's why I'm kind of... So they're in warm. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. I better hurry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm in trouble coming out. I'm gonna play with it a little bit. Sometimes that kind of. Loosens it up on you. One, two, one, two, one, two. I need to get better at my piping. I think I'm just gonna fill in some of these holes. Oh no, it's trying not to stick. Let's see what I can do here. Come on, stick, damn it. Okay. 
kind of pushing the card up before. I just need to get one more on each of these. Can I do it? I don't know if I can. I'm doing the best I can here. What not to do when piping. Sorry you can't see, but I really just got to try to get this on there. Well, that was interesting. All right, I gotta get these in. Ooh, quick, let's go. That. It's hardening up on me. We don't have much time. Some of these could have been trimmed, but I don't have time to do that either. Not every day you hear someone talking to their soap. Unless you're in my house. And you hear it every day. At least every day I make soap. And something I've noticed is every time I post something, I always get these weird people on like Facebook. Like if you're in like a, a group or something. Like, all they have to say is, like, negative stuff. You ever get those people? Like, no matter what you're doing, something negative. I had this guy that was following me. He was in more than one group that I was in. Every time I posted something that was soap, um, his comment would be something like, um, how many kids are gonna take a bite out of that or something, and... I just ignored it for a while, and then I was just like, you know what, I'm sick of this. So, the one day I said, uh, well, as an adult, it's your responsibility to make sure that kids don't eat this kind of stuff. You let them know that it's not edible. I have two toddlers, and they know darn well that you're not supposed to eat the things that I make because they're soap. He goes, oh, well, he said some snide comment about it, so I just went and blocked him. And I'm not, I'm not dealing with this today. Not at all. I could have put these in. That would have been kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but... I wonder if I can still put them in there. So I didn't have time to turn it around so you could see what I was doing, because it was literally, no, like, setting up before my eyes. So, 
So I'll have to make a soap with my little... I uh, fast forwarded this part I'll just a little bit and I'll come back when I go to put the stuff really on the well. other side. Originally, I was going to put those little witch hats because, you know, it costumes really and funny, candy for trick or treat, but so they didn't fit. Uh, I didn't make the so piping high enough. And, yeah, I tried to get it to fit and it yeah, wouldn't fit. So, those may be going on another really soap. Funny. Okay, so I wouldn't say this is a fail. I kind of saved it. I don't know. Should I add glitter? I'm not going to. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I am so excited. We're cutting the soap. Uh, it does look better than I thought. I'm hoping the inside turned out. If it didn't, then it was a learning experience. But, you know, for my second collaboration, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's it, You know, I actually thought long and hard about this one, and I'll explain to you why. Because I actually had already finished most of my uh, Halloween soaps. And I actually contacted uh, Tierra from Gypsy Fate Creations and asked her if she wanted to do a collab. Because, you know, I'm kind of like a little little bit of a fan. I like to watch the things she does. She reminds me of me, like, when I'm trying to work on things, like, I'm always like, oh, this sucks, you know, or this is going to turn out. And, you know, learning experience, you know, we're all about the learning experience. And we just, uh... We just decided, yeah, sure, let's do a trick-or-treat, and she wanted the embeds to be handmade. Well, I use a lot of molds to make it faster, so I made up some soap dough, and my soap dough did not turn out. It was really hard, and I was disappointed, so I cut it into little chunks and then put it in baggies to use later in a soap. Well, I actually ended up getting out one in order to use it in a soap and realized that when I put it in the baggie, it uh, became like... Like, the moisture that was trying to escape it got trapped in the bag and made it into, like, more of a soap dough consistency. A smidgen hard, but close to it. So I grabbed the... Originally, I was trying to make these little hats. And I'll show you. These were going to go in the soap, but the soap got too hard. These little witch hats. Um, and you can see they're not perfect because it wasn't perfect consistency. There's some nubbins and stuff, but... Still, I was going to make those little hats, and I was going to put those on this side. That didn't work out. Um, I was going to make candy corn, but um, I felt like it's been, like, overdone, like, making a candy corn Halloween soap. So I just decided against it, and then I was taking them, and I was getting ready to roll them into balls to use them as, like, planets in, like, a galaxy soap. And I realized, holy crap, this ball looks just like a dum dum sucker. So that's how the suckers came to be. And I know my sticks aren't perfect, but that's because the I couldn't get them to be thin enough. Like, I couldn't get the little pieces to be thin enough to look like a, a stick. I even tried, like, molding it into a stick, but it, it wasn't a good enough consistency that you could make an actual stick size piece. So I just made them thicker and then decided I would push them in so you couldn't see it as much, but obviously you can see it a little more than I wanted to because the piping set up on me. But either way, I'm 100% happy with the way it turned out. You know, you live and learn. Every soap you make is a learning experience, just like anything you do in life is a learning experience. So yeah, you know, it ended up turning out better than I thought. But we get to see the inside and see if that turned out okay or not. This is like the deal breaker right here. So let's cut this open. I'm just going to cut this side off first. And then I'll come back and cut another piece. <laughs> I think it might have worked, but we do have some color differentiation. Or blah, 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 color differ. What's the word I'm trying to say? Different colors. <laughs> we'll say it like that. Okay, so let's see the rest of these and hope that these look just as cool. Now, mind you, I have not made this style before. So, for me, I didn't know how much I needed for each bit. And because of that, I feel like my uh, roof could have been taller, of course. But all in all, considering I counted as a win, 
Let's cut into this. I'm I'm excited now that I know what the inside looks like. Oh no way! See, you got a little bit of green got away from us, and that last little bit <laughs> on the top that I added because uh, this part here wasn't enough was a little it turned out a little bit darker, and it kind of makes it look like the house has an eyebrow. <laughs> And there's a few holes in my piping. I think I might take some of this and just fill those in if I can. Uh, but yeah, I like it. The little sucker on the end there. That sucker broke. So I'll show you another one. I didn't think this was going to look that good. I was pretty disappointed. I thought I was going to have to redo the whole thing. And for me, this is enough. This is good enough, and it smells amazing. I, I kind of want to like, kind of itching for for fall after smelling this because it really does smell good. And the door ended up not being like, like a rectangle. It kind of looks, kind of like a what do you call it? A hexagon, octagon? I don't remember what they're called. Anywho, it kind of makes it look creepy, and also kind of looks like a face. And you know, I had poured this in with the different layer and then this one here um, those were parts the orange was part of my soap dough I had made it in hopes to uh, make the uh, candy corn actually is what I was going for because I've already had I already have some pumpkin soaps which you'll be seeing I think before this one no maybe after I can't remember I'm like two and a half months out now maybe even push it on three months out with my videos so I can't remember when anything comes out but yeah I think it looks good and on the top of the house it has a sucker and some well I guess you could call them leaves if you wanted to be imaginative let me poke it focus see the little leaves yeah we're gonna call it leaves oh the smell is amazing if you're a soaper I suggest you try mixing those two together but keep in mind, the uh, trick or treat, it's called tricks or treats from Nature's Garden. Just type in the word trick and you'll probably, you know, it'll pop up for you. You can only use that at 1%. So what I did was I added that at 1% and then added the green apple explosion at 4%. So I wasn't using the tricks or treats one more than it should be. See, my it's funny because my suckers are kind of ob oddly shaped, but they still look pretty cute. This is the one that looks like it has a chimney on it because <laughs> it's got a big bump right here. <laughs> and everyone looks different. That one looks like a unibrow house <laughs> because of the top. <laughs> this one looks like it could be hair. <laughs> But, hey, you know, it could have been a lot worse. It could have completely not turned out at all. And then I would have been so sad. All that work for nothing. Yeah, I think I might want to do some more sculpted soaps. This, this seems like fun. I wonder what I can come up with. I did that last minute. Like, the, uh... The card that I had a piece of cardboard and I, I just uh, took it and it was a clean piece of cardboard. It's from one of my boxes that I order. I do have some a little bit of air pockets and stuff like that just because it's it was setting up on me. Oops, I forgot to lift this up. I can't cut it from. Well, we probably could try, but I don't know how well that would work. Cut it in reverse. It would be the first time I did something you're not supposed to on my cutter. And I think that one looks pretty cool. That sucker was supposed to be in there a little more, so. You know, the color difference. Well, I can't even say that word. The different colors in it kind of makes it look a little funny, but 
did the best I could with what I had. Anywho, I like it. That's all that matters. This one has two eyebrows, one bigger than the other. <laughs> Sorry, my kids are in the background. I don't think they could be quiet if their life depended on it. Told my husband in a zombie apocalypse we'd be first to go. The kids would start yelling or fighting, or rain will start having a meltdown. And zombies would come running. He goes, God, if I shoot them all, and I was like, yeah, maybe. Just filling in a little hole on the side of this one. It's just a little one. This one you can see completely through. <laughs> So, when I was younger, my older brother used to make my costumes for me, and then when I uh, was out of school, I made my own costumes for me, and like when I was younger, I was, I was a television <laughs> and a VCR, and we went to some little thing with my mom's work, I think it was. And I ended up winning, like, the game Guess Who or something like that. And I love that game. But it was because of the fact that my brother made my costume. And he drew, he could draw really well. He drew Alice in Wonderland. The scene where she's holding, uh, As Aslan? No, what's his name? I don't remember what his name is. Little caterpillar guy. Aslam. Aslam? Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> he drew that scene. And I also went like that for Halloween at Trick or Treating. And it was, it was interesting. It was a big box with a little VCR. With a little box on top of it. It was really fun. We've gone as lots of different things. I'm, we're into sci-fi. We like sci-fi stuff. I've dressed up as, I made the costume for it and everything, um, a Silent Hill nurse. Now, if you're not into, like, gore and stuff, you probably won't like that, but, yeah. I mean, I don't like torture flicks, but I like, I like horror films and stuff. I just think they're cool. I don't know why. Uh, big fan of... Friday the 13th, big fan of, can do this, hold on a second, big fan of Halloween with Jason Voorhees, big fan of, I, I like uh, nerdy stuff too, I like Harry Potter, I like uh, Hunger Games. I wouldn't. I don't know if that's straight up nerdy. I don't read much, just because I don't have time for that. I don't have time for reading. I'm soaping and taking care of my kids and my house, and you know, this is my business, so I dedicate most of my time to my business. If I am reading anything, it's usually online, and it's usually to like how to better your business, that sort of thing. Um, my favorite thing, like, ever is skulls. I love skulls and roses. I do not have any tattoos, if you're wondering. A lot of people ask me, oh, you like heavy metal music and all this cool stuff. What kind of tattoos do you have? Well, none. I'm afraid of needles. 
I mean, I'm not afraid afraid. I had my belly button pierced. That was a big needle. A really big needle. And when I saw the big needle, I passed out. So, <laughs> I almost didn't get it done. My mom, I was 18 years old. She said, if you're 18 and you want to get it done, and I went with, um, Sean and I have been high school sweethearts, so we've been together since we were 15. Part of my son. We've been together since we were 15. So, when I was 18, he went with me, and <laughs> the guy was, like, rubbing my belly with iodine and stuff, and he pulls out the needle, and I saw the needle and passed out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but that's just, that's just what happened, and that's what I did. <laughs> but he ended up giving me, like, a sugar tablet or something, and then he went ahead with it. And the weird part is, when you get your belly button pierced, you can hear the pop. Like, the needle goes through your skin, and then you hear a pop because it breaks through. Oh, I won't be able to trim off this end piece. Look how crooked that sucker is on there. It was the last one I put on. <laughs> I can't trim off this end here. So it's just going to have to look like that. A recap of these beautiful soaps. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, don't like needles. I would never get a tattoo. I don't see a point to them. That's just me. I'm not saying anything against anyone who does have tattoos. Your choice. Just like anyone who decides to get an epidural, that's your choice. It's just not for me. So here is my it looks like I have a little village of houses. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my gosh, you could so play with this. Now if I can make this not in soap and in something that I could cut and then literally just have like a little village of these dudes. And then the little trick-or-treaters go up and go to the door and ask for candy. <laughs> Sorry, I have way too much fun. I know this is a really long video, so if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!